coming. Come in, I've got a surprise for you. What are we doing? Where are we I've going? I've got a surprise, come on. A surprise? And now, open your eyes. Oh, that's really lovely. Oh, that is a surprise, but it's not my birthday. I know. I did it because I love you. Oh, oh and it smells really lovely as well. Oh, that looks lovely. Thank you. What a lovely surprise. Right, come on. Oh. Have you ever had a big surprise? Maybe you've had a surprise birthday party. Or maybe one day mum and dad brought home a new puppy for the family. Maybe you even found out you were going to have a baby brother or sister. Well, in today's story, there's a really big surprise as well. The biggest surprise ever. Hmm. It was a Friday afternoon when Jesus died on the cross. A man called Joseph of Arimathea took the body of Jesus down from the cross and put it in a tomb. In those days, tombs were caves cut out of rock. To make sure nobody could get into the tomb, he rolled a huge stone across the entrance. Just after sunrise on Sunday morning, some women who were friends of Jesus came to the tomb. They had some special spices which they were going to use to make the body of Jesus smell mm. nice. But as they walked, they realised they had a problem. The rock that Joseph had put at the door. Oh no, we won't be able to get in. Mm. Who will roll the stone away from the doorway of the tomb? But when they got there, they got their first big surprise. The heavy stone that had been blocking the door of the tomb had been rolled away already. But there was a bigger surprise coming. Mm. When they walked into the tomb, the body of Jesus was gone. A young man was standing there dressed in shining white and he had a message from God. The women were afraid. Well, they weren't expecting this at all. Do you think they would have been scared? Well, I certainly would have been. Don't be frightened, said the messenger. I know you're looking for Jesus, who was killed, but he has risen from the dead. He's not here. Have a look. This is where the body was lying. He's not dead. He's alive. The grave clothes were there, but Jesus was gone. The women were even more scared, but the messenger kept talking. Go and tell Peter and the rest of the disciples Jesus was dead, but now he's alive. The women were so scared and so surprised that they were shaking. They ran out of the tomb and they couldn't tell anyone what had happened because they were so frightened. How do you think you would have felt? I think I'd have fright been frightened too. <laughs> they were frightened because they simply didn't expect to hear that Jesus was alive. Well, they thought he was dead and dead people don't come back to life. Well, usually they don't. But Jesus was the king of everything. Mm. And that means he wasn't going to stay dead. Over these past weeks, we've seen how Jesus has power over everything. Can you remember some of the things that you've seen? Well, he's ruler over people. He's the ruler over sickness. He tells the wind and the waves what to do. He could even forgive sins. And because he came back to life, it shows he has power over death as well. But the important thing isn't the fact that Jesus came back from the dead. It's why he did it and what that means. What do you mean? Well, remember that surprise meal that I made you earlier? Oh, that was really lovely, yeah. But the point wasn't the food or the candles, lovely though they were. It was that I did it because I love you. And I'd do anything for you. Oh. Okay, so what does this have to do, though, with Jesus coming back from the dead? Well, Jesus came back from the dead to show that God's love for us is more powerful than any of the wrong things that we could ever do. More powerful than all the wrong things in the whole world. More powerful even than death itself. Wow, <laughs> that's really powerful. That's right. And if we let him... Jesus can give us that power too, if we become part of his kingdom, his followers. That's what all this on the Sofa series has been about. That's what Mark's Gospel is all about. 
helping us to see how much God loves us and that his power is stronger than anything else. Once we see how much God loves us and what his love can do for us, I guess we'll want to tell others about it too. That's right, and our song today is about that. It's called Tell Them. Enjoy. Tell them, tell them, tell everybody. Tell them that the stone's been rolled away. Tell them, tell them, tell everybody. Tell them they can't delay. Tell them they can't delay. Tell them, tell them, tell everybody. Tell them the tomb is empty now. Tell them, tell them, tell everybody. Tell them of Jesus' power. Tell them of Jesus' power. lots of things about Jesus on our way through Mark's Gospel. The question is, what are you going to do about what you know about Jesus? Some people laughed at him. People still do. Some people hated him so much that they killed him. Some people still hate him. Some people just ignore him. But if he died to bring us back to God, well, maybe we should thank him. And if he rose from the dead to show us the power of God's love, well, he can be our king too, who listen to and obey. I wonder. I wonder how the women felt when they saw that Jesus had risen from the dead. I wonder how the disciples felt when they realised that Jesus was the king of everything. I wonder how you are going to respond to the idea that Jesus can be king of your life. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, that your love is more powerful than anything else. Help us to follow your example by serving and loving one another. Amen. Amen. Why not join us in the interactive Lord's Prayer? When, when I, I touch, touch my head, head I, think I think of you, you Father, Father God. God. When, when I, I put my hands over my heart, I remember, remember to show you my love. love. When, when I, I put my hands together, together I ask you to come and make everything right. When I touch my mouth, I ask you to give us the food we need. When I bow my head, I say sorry for the wrong things I've done. When I lift my head, I know you forgive me. When I open my arms, I ask you to help me be friends with everyone. Amen. Well, we've come to the end of our series on Eat the King, <sighs> but we'll be back soon at the start of Advent Excellent. with lots more exciting stories to share with you. See you soon. Bye for now.